I think from the beginning, what are the changes in the law? In the last through few years, there's been several changes in the law, um, and this is the most important one. It's called the Deficit Reduction Act, or the DRA, a federal law that was passed in 05, actually came into effect in Virginia in 2006, and really messed our planning up. Um, I'll give you some examples as to <coughs> why. It made, made gifting very difficult, which I'll explain in a moment. The look back period, um, time for a prize here. Anyone know what the Medicaid look back period is? How long is that? Five years. Five years. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Get one over on this side of the room. There you go. So, um, used to be three years. This law increased the look back period to five years. It changed all the rules. Tell me a little bit what the look back period really is. I will. Uh, the question was about the look back period. Just give me one moment, I'll explain that. And it also um, used to be the home equity in your uh, home used to be was unlimited. Now the cap on your home equity is 500,000. So if you own a home with 500,000 or more in equity in it, again, uh, we're going to need to do some planning there. Let me ask you about gifting because this question comes up a lot. And to understand the new rules, we need to just briefly understand the old rules. Under the old rules, so this was prior to 2006, it was pretty simple. Because the federal government didn't like it being simple, so they had to change this and make it more complicated. But this is how it used to be. Um, if I made a gift, you know, we used to call it a loan, but you know, those of you that have children, you know if you make a loan <laughs> to your kids, you know what that means, right? Don't expect to see it again. So we'll call it a gift. So let's say I make a gift to my son of 40,000. They have a monthly divider, which is 4,000, which the state says is the average cost of care per month, which we've already talked about. That's not true. But anyway. The state uses this number of 4,000, so if I make a gift under the old rules, if I make a gift of $40,000, that means 10 months when I'm not entitled to Medicaid. 10 months from the date of the gift under the old rules. Well, that was way too simple. So, what they did under the DRA, under the Deficit Reduction Act, is they said, that the penalty period doesn't even start now until I'm in the nursing home and the spend down applies. So let me, you asked about the um, look back period. Let me explain to you what that means. So let's say we're August now of 2011. Uh, let's say I make a gift. The look back period is really a look forward period. So anything that I do now in August of 2011, anything that I do now, the, the government can look back at that until August of 2016. But this is what they did under the new rules. Say I make the gift in this year, but in August of 2014, I go into the nursing home. Well, under the new rules here, that's when the look back period starts. So if it's a large gift, it's five years from, from when I go into the nursing home, which in this example was August of 2014. So you add five years to that, that's 2019. So even though I made the gift here, penalty period doesn't start here until I go into the nursing home and it's five years. So for a gift I made in 2011, that can come back to bite me all the way through in this example, all the way through to 2019. So that, that's, that's where these uh, 
rules can be so tricky. Uh, and as we said, it increased um, the period here. It used to be three years and five years for trust, but now it's just five years across the board. So the bottom line is even innocent transfers can cause penalty periods up to five years or even longer. And here's some examples of, um, of innocent transfers. Adding, if you um, add a relative, a son or a daughter, to the real estate deed, that's considered a transfer. Adding a relative and they withdraw money from a joint uh, bank account, that's considered a gift as well. So all these things we have to be very careful of because um, you know, what we don't necessarily consider a gift like adding our daughter to a bank account so she can pay bills for us, um, that's considered a gift by Medicaid. So we have to be very careful about all those things. Okay, so that's what we call crisis planning, if you will. This is the annuities, the other things, fixing up the house, other things, those are things we can do immediately because we know a mum or dad or a spouse, a loved one is going into a nursing home right away. So let's talk about now what we can do when we have a little...